All right, we are back with our second session for our Deadlands campaign, episode two. Um, and I'm going to let our marshal explain where we are right now um, in our game. So I'm going to turn it over to him. All right, Marshall, can you please explain where we all are right now? What's happening? So last time we played, <clears throat> the uh, the last time we played, there was a little bit of a scuffle in the saloon. Um, the saloon was well, it's the Long Branch Saloon, and. Uh, there was just going to be robbed, and our wonderful player characters uh, interjected and prevented the robbery. And a few of the robbers were chased away, and the rest of them were, well, I think only two of them were taken away to the authorities. I think that's where we ended up, didn't we? Sounds good. Hold on. we gotta, we got to start the uh, the music again. Yeah, we have some yep. music. Tunes and bennies. That's what we oh, need. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Feel free to draw your... Do you want to draw your bennies, or do I give them to you? Just hand them out. Yeah, I, don't know I want to draw mine. Yeah, go for it. Just, they're just, they act just like cards, so feel free to just pull them off. Which one is it? Oh. It's the black deck. The black deck, and we get three, right? Yep. Well, one blue, one white, and one red. Was I supposed to say that? Too late, I said it. Yeah. I don't think it matters. I uh, no, it doesn't matter. You would see it in real life. I got two red and one blue. Wait, what? Somebody drew three white there. That's me. Oh. That's fine. There's no reds. Yeah. Oh, this red. Oh, I see what you're saying. You don't have reds. I do not have a red. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, Chubbs, did you draw some? I did. Chubbs. Can Can you see the little... Three oh, yep, above yep. my okay. Okay, so I don't know what you guys have, and that's fine. Just when you use them, play them. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to play them. And I, you know what? I was thinking about it, and I kind of owe you bennies from last time because you guys normally the G, the marshal gives bennies when players do role play like good role playing or make something funny or just makes the game better. So we'll say I owe you one from last time so give everybody one for like trying to to get together and be part of a party you know what i mean like trying to to group together sort of thing you don't have to tell me twice on a mess. so take an extra one that i owed you from last time i did something wrong i gotta wait for that one my bunny went to minneapolis and i can't get it back whoops well it's gonna be cold hi benny <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is it off the board or something? I don't know. I just tried to drag it over to my other ones and it stopped on Minneapolis it, and said, I'm staying here. If you just, if you go to the black deck and then you click draw, then it puts it right above your avatar and it's like organized there. Oh, I just dragged them. No, you're not supposed to. Well, you can. That's another way of drawing, but it doesn't specifically put it on you. That's all. I guess I need some as well. So there's four of you. So I got four. Do you see that? Yes, it's white. Damn it. Two white. I just did one. Well, what? One? You have three white now. Okay, one of those is um, cis. Is you it not? What? Sith can right click on it and take card. There you go. I'm removing all of this crap. <laughs> what do I do though with the one in Minnesota though? That one's gone. Okay. Draw three. I'm doing that. 
No, no, you got three white. <laughs> <laughs> no, they told me I have to draw three. And then you got to draw one more because you need four of them. Draw one more. But now I can't see them. They're just above me. How do I see them? You, you, you click, click on, on them. them. Click on, click on the card. This doesn't do anything. It, it, well. it should. It should pop up a window that says Benny's and it shows you what color Benny's you have. If I click on it, I can steal your card. Oh, it's off the screen because I have my window docked to the top. That's, that's oh, brilliant. That be, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So last time when we finished. All right. There. I have three white. Yeah. My Benny's conform to the rules. Don't okay. worry. Excellent. I want to see if I can shuffle the rest. I'm going to see if I can get that one that's missing back in there. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? There we go. All right, so the last time we played, um, you guys rescued the saloon, kept all the, the customers safe from the looters, and and chased them away. Um, is there anything you, in particular you would like to do before we proceed? Have a drink. It's okay, been a long fair. day. Torment the dark players. <laughs> Did the, uh, did the sheriff already take the people away? Uh, I thought I realized afterward that you guys wanted to interrogate, so we'll say you could have had enough time to interrogate. Did they get to go to the special room? Yeah, you mentioned that. So what, what would you have interrogated them about? Um, why they decided to come mess up my place of business, my fine establishment. Are you just going to ask them nice and Well, we're going to start and... nice. Well, they would answer nice. They just... <laughs> we just wanted money. Mm -hmm. Sure you did. Times are tough. Plenty, plenty other places to get money besides my patrons. It's true, but... I hear a lot of money comes through this saloon. Well, where'd you get the guns from? Hmm... We snuck them in. At this point, um, hang on a second. I do not specifically have intimidation. Does it exist or do I default? Uh, does it, it exist? There I is a intimidation. I used to there. have it. I used okay. to have it. I got rid of it. I know someone who has it. Mm -hmm. An intimidating heathen. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I I can intimidate, and I you know I can use my my whip and everything. I just would like <laughs> some guidance from my party. What what are you specifically trying to figure out that you don't think they're telling you? Uh, where they got the guns, and why specifically here? Um, I know they keep just spouting off that. It's uh, not anything personal or anything like that, but why would they try and kidnap one of the workers in particular? Like, no offense, Marcy, but a hooker don't usually have a whole lot of value outside of her establishment. We're just, we're just plain white trash most of the time. Why didn't he try to take a patron? All right, um, I'll, I'll use intimidation to try to figure out why they kidnapped Clementine. What was, what was the reasoning behind that? What did they want her for? Okay, you want me to roll? Yes, do you have like an intimidating phrase or something like that? Or? Yeah, you know, it's a sin to lie. Okay, um, oh, I got an eight on my first roll. And don't forget your wild card so you get an extra d6. And then a two. Okay, so ten? Yeah. He, he uh... And that's, that's a raise, right? No, actually, because I, you roll against my attribute. Oh, okay. So I, I roll my attribute as well. And then if you do get four more than I rolled, then you would get a raise. Okay. 
but he rolled quite well. Uh, your question was... Why did you take Embrace me as your king and as your god. Why did you take Clementine? Well... She's very pretty. <laughs> you know, she, she charges quite a bit, so, you know, we might just get some free ones. We would have let her go. I ain't buying it. What does Black River want with starting trouble in this town? I don't know. We just want money. Um, at this point, I'm going to take my whip out of my habit. And I'm just going to kind of roll it around in my hands, caress it. Can I, can I attack somebody who's tied up? Yes, absolutely. Sure, we'll even give you a bonus. I was gonna say probably with advantage. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna whip him. We'll give you a plus two across the face. A pow, some Oof. effect. Okay, well, what do I roll for my whip? Says um, a d6. So I just roll a d6. Yeah, so you you roll your fighting and your your uh, your extra d6. Okay. I got a three and a three. Uh, then, you, then you hit him, right? Because it's plus two. Yeah. Mm. Or was that with the plus two? No, that wasn't. Two? No, that wasn't with the plus two. Okay. So yeah, you just. You, <laughs> what is, what is the damage on the whip? The attack is d six. Mm -hmm. Oh, the damage is special. Okay. You know what? You just you, you slash him across the face and. Mm -hmm. He's like, ah. Do a little suck suck on him? We just wanted money. Before we don't get paid very it. much as rail workers. And she's kind of cute. It's like some blood starts to come down his face now. Can she redo her intimidation at this point? Mm. You know what? She did really well already. But if you want, sure. Okay. Uh, I said... It's a sin to lie. Okay, I got a six and a six. Keep rolling. Oh, you're gonna have to remind me of these things. Mm -hmm. It jumped the fence. It jumped the fence of my little saloon roller. All right, and then a one. Okay, so the Say a six, six, and a one, so that's like a six and a seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he actually just he just stops talking. He said, "I told you." Wouldn't she have a thirteen at that point, or? Well, I, maybe I misunderstood her because you got. Did you get a six on the D eight or the D six? I got a six on the D eight, and then I got a six ah, okay. on the D six. Yeah. Okay. So six and seven. I misunderstood. He says, I already told you. We don't get paid enough. We want some money. We're starving here. And well, they'll have plenty of food in the jail. Yep. Maybe. Does he have any um does he, did he have any bullet wounds or anything like that? Did he get shot? No, I don't think you guys fired any or did you fire guns? They fired guns. Yep. It's just I don't know. Knives and whips and tornadoes. Gambit Does cars. he have any open wounds? No. Okay. Well, on his face now. No, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> so that's it. Where is he tied up right now? Uh, it's up to you guys. How would you like to tie him up? Okay. You guys took him up there. You said it's in your special room. He's in the, yeah, he's in the special room. So he is on a, like a wheel right now. Like <laughs> nice. nice. Arms like that. And we're just going to turn him upside down and leave him to wait for the sheriff. Yep. Okay. It's not the first time you've done it, Marcy. Maybe People have tried to blood to his brain will refresh his memory. Yeah. It's not the first time that your saloon has been robbed and you've thwarted it. Are both dudes in this room or just one? It's up to you guys. How, what would you like to do? It's your choice. I figured both, but 
I don't know. Did they both wake back up? Uh, we'll see. The other guy's still unconscious. Okay. Well, I'll just chain him to the wall, and if he wakes <laughs> up, he can he can decide for himself what's going on. So this is like the uh, the high payers room where people pay a premium to get into. Okay. So or the non-payers room. Is there anything else you want to do? Get that well, I already, Yep, I already rifled through their pockets pretty good, so I doubt they got anything else that I didn't know about. Is anything falling out of him as he turns upside down? Yeah. No, not really. Not particularly. Uh, okay. Doris already cleared out all the money. Well, uh, let's leave these two to think about what they've done. And Sounds good to me. All right, I want to... We'll go have a drink at the bar and wait for the sheriff, and sister can come along if she likes to. I want to whip him across the face one more time as I'm leaving. I... Sister, I don't think I caught your name. I grab Sister Temperance by the wrist and say, I think they had enough. Um... I am shocked and appalled that you would touch me. And I'm about to direct my whip at you if you don't let go of me. I give kind of a half cock smile. All right. To each your own. And I let her go. Yeah. The question I have is what did you do with Violet while you did all this? Uh, she's sitting outside the door in the hallway. Okay, so she hears the groans of pain and coming from inside and you being stern, but she doesn't witness anything. Right. Okay. All right, you want me to roll to whip him again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we'll see. You just hit him. Even after I grabbed your arm? Yeah, now I'm just even angrier. Up. Now I'm going to whip him even harder. Um, you don't let him go? I, I grab her arm again. <laughs> you whip John Rogers. I, I well, swear, I swear, yeah. if you keep touching me. What kind me, of nun are you? The, what kind of what kind of follower of God do you are? Mr. Rogers, if you don't violence. stop that, I'm going to have to hire this nun and charge you for her services. <laughs> Doris is wondering whether or not John Rogers values his hands. Maybe John's looking for a free one from the nun. She might be tempted to oblige with that whip of hers. She'll fucking mm -hmm. tie you up right beside this dick over here. Yep. All right. So All you right. give him well, one. I, I take my hands off and I just leave. You guys can do what you want with these people. I'm leaving. And I walk downstairs to the bar. All right. So she gives him one more lash and as she leaves and uh, he just passes out from the pain. And then as we mentioned previously, the authorities arrive, take them away, and probably do more in intimidation and interrogation in their cells. So I actually <clears throat> wanted to do an action between there. If enough time has passed for them to wake up and believe themselves alone. All right. I wanted I wanted to cast Mind Rider. Sure on one of them and see if okay. they're talking about anything. Okay. So Mind Rider. I believe the target is their wisdom. That's a good one. Uh, or uh, willpower, rather. It is... <clears throat> it doesn't say on my sheets. Oh, uh, nope, it doesn't. Hold on. <clears throat> or you know what? My bad. Yeah, yeah, just, just cast it. Make your spell casting roll. I will cast. I think it's against the target spirit. Seven. Okay, hold up. So Mind Holy Rider God. is use the ability to hear through the subject's ears, see through his eyes, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you... Alright, so you cast Mind Rider. And you want to see through his eyes, or... Yeah, so like after after word 
all gone oh. and maybe they've woken up but before the sheriff gets there they're they are alone and they think they're safe you want to feel their pain yeah 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 <laughs> oh i see i thought you were trying to read their mind nope just listening see what they're talking about okay what are your uh trappings for this spell I have no visible effect. Okay. What, um... All right, so you're casting it before you leave mm -hmm. and just kind of monitor him for a while? Yep. All right, so how did you roll? Like, did you roll... I rolled a seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, um... And like I said, after you went unconscious, eventually maybe he would have come conscious and you just... Well, hold up. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So I just told him what uh, what happened. The authorities take him away then? I'm done with him. Okay. All right. Eventually the yeah. authorities take him away. I lost. I help uh, clean up the bar. Yep. Yeah, you guys, room. you guys mentioned that last time you'd help clean up a little bit, fix the damage. Already the music's picked back up. It's like, you know what? Fights happen all the time. Scuffles happen. Some people might have taken some notice of the magic and are a little bit suspicious right now because magic isn't too, too common. I don't know. And who all did magic? Was that just Sister Temperance? Uh, didn't you cast something as well, Marcy? Mm, yes, I guess first. You blessed that green. guy against the bar. I did bless that guy against the bar, but they're <laughs> used to that. Yeah. Maybe you play it off sometimes as a... You said they like were a just a little... A few too many sheets to the wind. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's drunk. Maybe nobody really noticed. You know, because people are cowering on the floor and there's so much yelling and there's so much activity going on everywhere. Maybe nobody really noticed Marcy casting at this time. And the storm outside, that could have just been the wind. I, I'm missing Chubbs. What do you mean? Are you still there? Your, oh, no, your, okay. your thing is black to us. Just yeah. a black square. Oh, oh, I can see her. Not for, I can see her I have an avatar. I, yeah, I can see her and I can hear her. Okay. I won't worry about it then. Um, Don't you worry your head. <clears throat> all right. So is that it? Is, it? is that all? I guess you guys did all the interrogations. The authorities took them away. And you're just going to hang out for the day. I said it was around dinner, didn't I? Yeah. I'm having my, my pork uh, pork rump with Doris. She bought one for me. Oh, I'm yeah. wolfing it. Okay, or whatever so she bought consuming dinner, Marcy's appropriating staff, and then eventually, eventually, Snakes shows up. Quite skinny, but well-dressed gentleman takes his usual seat at the usual table. There were some people there already, but his ruffians clear them out, and, you know, his, his little bodyguards. So this Give him a little taken. nod. Yeah. And they clear out the table for snakes, and uh, he has a seat. Ready to uh, begin business for the evening. Can I, I approach him and ask what he's looking for this evening? I approach as well, but seeing Marcy, I tip my head and give her the right of way. A little bow. Well, she's kind I of have... up to you. 
I have an in interesting development today. Uh -huh. You don't Something, say. Well, I heard some wonderful possibilities for us to all make a big wad of cash. Now, it's a long ways away, and time is of the essence. Marcy, I've heard you've been flexing a little bit around here, keeping the order. But I heard also of these other new fellows. I heard they're uh, a little bit competent in their abilities. Kind of look around at the rest of these three and not they can hold their own how reliable is this information this time i believe it comes from quite high up and the pay is quite good for everybody hmm. including myself i kind of take a look around the the saloon and see some of the things that are still going to need to be repaired or replaced from this break-in Mm. These are the, Tell these me are more. Just, well, it's going to be a long trip. Mm. Have you ever been up to Wow? I got suitcases. Good. Glad to hear it. We need somebody who can cast. Well, I mean, who has skills such as yours, and I've also heard of that nun over there. Mm. She, she was trying Sister? to be subtle, but. Yes, I see her abilities as well as the other two. I think you can all be very useful for this job. Nun might take some convincing. She hasn't been very forward in why she's here. She's got a kid with her. Well, she could... With this big paycheck, she could put it to any use that God sees fit. Well, you're going to have to ask her yourself. Oh, indeed. Uh, shall I do it in the traditional manner? I don't think she drinks, so I don't know how to summon her over here. Sister, Would can you, you come over here for a moment? I'll just kind of yell across the saloon. <laughs> I am in the corner of the saloon with Violet, and you can see that I am acting very erratic. I am all worked up. I'm like shaking and rocking. I don't even turn your way when you call for me. Mr. Rogers, will you go get sister and bring her over here? What? You, you, the fake nun? You want me to go get the <laughs> yeah, fake nun? Yeah, that one. <laughs> she was hitting that boy. The nun witch. Go get her. Mm. Did you just call me a nun witch? Yeah, like a under nun and, and a witch. Oh, I thought I thought you like, meant not like, under my breath. I thought you meant like a like a nun sandwich, a nun like, witch, like a nun pizza in Bluff Beach. I give a give or a like disapproving sigh. Tch. And I kind of look at my feet as I walk over to the nun. Sister. I Hello, sister. I whisper something to Violet. And uh, she's going to look up at you with, like, a, a scowl on her face. So obviously I'm not talking good about you. Okay. What do you whisper to Violet? I'm going to tell Violet that uh, that's an evil man. He needs his sin cleansed. And in time... Uh, she will see that I will, in fact, send him to Jesus. Ooh. Okay. And I will mm, go back, go back to whisper. And I will also tell her that uh, we cannot trust men; that men are inherently wicked. Okay. Yes, Violet would scowl. All right, I'm just going. I'm not even gonna uh, say anything to you, John Rogers. I'm just going to give you my attention by looking at you. Yep, that's fine. 
the um, the lady of the house would, would like to speak with you. And I kind of glance over my shoulder to Marcy. I look at Marcy. Just kind of give her a little like wave and a little come hither. Okay. I uh, gather up Violet and I make my way over. I tip my hat to Sister Temperance. I ignore Mr. that. Mr. Rogers, this is for you too. You come over here. All right. This involves all three of you. Mr. Sneaks here has a proposition for y'all. Did you need someone to pray with? I'm going to stand opposite Marcy and Sister Temperance, close to Snakes. Not sitting down. Good evening, Sister. We have some interesting developments up north, and normally I would give none or the blessed folk a pass, but rumors speak of some of the powers that you've been wielding and we could certainly use them and you know it's it's just monetary reward but also you know there's 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 a great need to find out what happened and there's i feel there is a a growing evil from this location and i think i feel that if the rumors are true, your powers could be quite useful to to bringing salvation. And, you know, probably spreading, spreading the word of your great and wonderful Lord. Ah, damn snakes, you've been saved. Yeah, I'm looking at them quite confused. Another one by you know, the dust. He's always been uh, very perceptive of people's needs, you would say. You, those of you that know him, you know he's kind of just... He's, he's able to appeal to her. I have God on my side. Do you have God on your side? When the time comes, I hope so. We do many good things in my organization. And you will be doing a good thing yourself. Have you been on behalf of God? Have you been baptized? Of course. Very well then. I'll hear your proposition. Well, is it just you and these three here? And my charge. Sister, where's that child of you? Yes. I'm here for you, Snakes. I just met these people, but if you tell me I need to work with them, that would be suitable. Well, how many of you are willing to travel? Depends on what it's worth. You still haven't named a price, really. How about bringing evil to justice? Well, that sounds really good for Sister Temperance, I'm sure. But I like the yellow shiny pieces most of all. Yeah, I'm going to need a little more information on accommodations with this travel. Mm -hmm. and a little more specificity on this great evil you have alluded to. How about we start with this? Let me put on the table. A bunch of money. Like how much? First glance. I glance at it. I'm starting to understand the greatness of this evil. <laughs> it, uh... Alright, let's get some smarts checks. Let's get some smarts checks. Whoever's counting it, roll your smarts. Like, just a quick count, right? Like a ballpark. An eight on the D eight and a two on the six. So that gives me a thirteen on my D eight. Seven. Pretty sure I know exactly what's in that pile. Yep. Down to the and then another three. Yeah. 
Or do I reroll the d8 on an 8? Yes, you do. If you reroll the d8, okay, so yep. an 8, a 2, and another 2. Okay, so John got a 7, Doris got a 5. Uh, you get a wild die as well, right? So you get your skill and a d6 as well. Yeah, I got a 2 on the d6, I got an 8 on the d8, and then I got okay. a 5 on the d8. So I got 13 total. Damn. All right, so there is at least four hundred dollars there. Is that each or split? Split. What's my background with snakes? Does he have anything on me that would compel me to take this deal, even if it's not a good one? No, you and snakes have known each other for a while. He knows you're you're proficient with magic, so if something is magic required he might uh, he might have offered you jobs in the past um you know it's up to you whether you take it or not um you know okay. it, he's been trustworthy and like you haven't really betrayed his faith either i don't think how long you reckon this is gonna take because i need to calculate a daily rate here and i can't be gone from the saloon for too long well with luck, a day. Day's worth it. Yeah. Tell you what, we can offer you. Here, I'll give you this money here. But the last where did you day, say you're going? I'm expecting overtime. You're going up north. Um, tell you what, you I will offer you thirty dollars a day, plus this money here, and plus a completion bonus. I have a hundred, another hundred dollars. Is that thirty dollars a day each? Yes. Thanks. One how day you're gonna far? have to tell me where you get this money. Yeah, I'm very curious as to how where he gets this money as well. Not to mention, he mentioned that he's getting paid well as well. Like, what's the risk here? What great evil are we fighting? Here's the thing. Is I don't know. Um, an agent was sent to this location and over time they stopped reporting back. What I need you to do is just... Now are you saying agent in the proper sense? An agent in the proper sense. Mm. I mean agent in the proper sense. Like government agent? So, Indeed. Hmm. That's where the money's coming from. Is your hard earned tax dollars at work paying you all this fine and wonderful money? And all you have to do is rescue a government agent or find out what happened or Well, I've always been one for public is... service. Here's the problem. If he was ripped apart by wolves, what are we gonna find? A shoe? Hopefully his badge. Mm, yeah. I grab a chair and spin it around. Sit down at the table. Well, now I'm interested. Will Riker right over that bitch? Yep. So we bring the badge back and that gets us the reward? That gets you the reward. I'll give you... Let's say... Well, we need you. I need you to find him and tell me what's going on why is he missing why is he not reporting back why 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 what's happening what if he just fucked off with the local natives what if he's tired of being a government agent and said to hell with all of you i'm just gonna go rogue and whatever that's fine just get me the information back it up and I'll give you a big fat check with a lot of money in it. All right. Snakes, we go far enough back that you can't write me no checks, but I got nothing else going on this weekend, so I'm in. Perfect. You know, who, who do you usually get to watch the saloon for you while you're out on business? Uh, Charlene and Carlene are coming up enough. They can they can handle it. And I, you know what? Butch I over there. I can help him out too. I get paid well, so I want this to work. 
You get yeah, paid. You know I my policy. Paid. No freebies, even if the girls offer. Damn it. Why do you got to say that? What? what about after shift? That. Girls is making money all day, every day, fucker. All right. If I get paid, you get paid. That's all I want right now. And. Deal's a deal, then. Sister, nun, ma'am, lady. Sister whose name I still don't know. What are you thinking over there? You'll be doing the Lord a wonderful service. I am not tempted by money, but I will come along just in case you're in need of an exorcism. I mean, you never know when we might need one of those. An exorcism might be needed. I've had a needed. couple shots of whiskey at this point, so I'm... A little more open I don't think you've got enough holy water to exer exercise my demons, honey. <laughs> well, hopefully he's just drunk. He hands you a look around. Oh, good. Do we have an accord? Yes, kind of look around the table and I say, you know, I don't go on investigation without some sort of lead. What can you hand me to help track down this fellow? He hands you this brown envelope with all sorts of information that I will give you the next gaming session, but it is full of the information <laughs> you need to yes. track him down. Hmm. This is all fine and dandy, but do you have anything? Hmm. Let's say we share more relevant, more personal. Yeah, what's this fellow look like? Do you like? have any of his personal effects? Can you describe his character? All of the information you need is in the brown envelope. Is any of his physical effects in that character in that brown envelope? No. I can tell you where he's last been seen, and that's where I need you to start. All right. What happens if we come home empty-handed? Well, at the very least, you get this hundred dollars here and thirty dollars a day. It's good enough. If you got nothing in two weeks, maybe a return. Return in two that weeks. Sounds like probably a good idea. And you said we're headed to Wyoming? Yes. Whereabouts Wyoming. in Wyoming? <clears throat> if you look inside the envelope there, there's a four tickets for uh, five tickets for you. <laughs> four four tickets. and a half tickets. Four, four tickets. For train uh, train tickets up to um, Cheyenne Mountain. Uh, no, not quite Cheyenne. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to remember the name. First stop Salt is Springs. Cheyenne at Salt Salt Lake City, but there's one more. That's in Utah. Stop. Oh no, but it, it comes back. Laramie into Wyoming. Nope, it's in Wyoming. Don't make me look. You got train tickets <laughs> to get you there. <laughs> to almost your final destination. <laughs> Don't make me look. <laughs> All right, I I want to make a quick estimate of how many days it's going to take us to like train ride and to the final destination. I don't know mm, about a day for that. Oh, okay. You can just tell me. Yep. Well, it depends, I suppose. Have you ever been on a train before? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that my character's been up north, but I've been on trains quite often. Okay, yeah, you'd wager maybe a day and a half, two days at the most. Do love a train ride. Mm -hmm. Putting us up in first class, right, Snakes? Of course. I Do we have I an account on you. <laughs> Are we getting, we're getting 150 up front, you said, right? At 100. Yeah, 150 up front, you said, right? Plus thirty dollars a day. Well, if it's a day and a half, that's one fifty up front. Sure. I like the we way this fella thinks. Make a negotiation check. Or no, it's not called a negotiation, is it? It's called uh persuasion. There it is. I'm gonna lose your this. persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I know you're minus two. I'm gonna use a Benny. How do I do that? Which Play color, Benny, do you want to use? 
The blue one. Okay, so that gives you plus two. I suck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a four. So or a five. <clears throat> yeah, I got okay, a five. He starts getting aggravated. He says, I said it's a hundred. All right. Well, you make it 130 from the 30 you didn't pay me last time, and then we'll call it good. 130 for you, 100 for your friends. Oh, no. I'm going to use persuasion. I'm going to be like, okay, I'm watching him negotiate I, right here. Uh, I sit back and just fold my arms. Sir, I don't think so. That's not how this shit works. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I do owe John Rogers a bit of money. I just haven't seen him since. I do owe him $30. Sister's not interested in money. Can I have her portion? I don't have any issue with that. No, uh, one. Yeah. Well, thank you, sister, I'm... for your donation to the less fortunate. Uh, I'd like to pull Marcy over to the side with my hundred, please. And I'd like to have a private <laughs> conversation with Marcy. I don't know if you can. Let's see if we can do this. We can do that. Okay. So, um, I'm going to give you my hundred and say, you're right. I don't care for money, uh, but I would like you to take this hundred and store four horses for me that I left out back. We can do that. Sister... Temperance. But you can just call me sister. Sister it is. And they take the hundred. The horse's names Talk are that. Conquest, War, Famine, and Death. That is what they respond to. They kind of nod. Noted. Kind of got like a crazy look in my eye. Like I'm just staring at you very intensely, very close to your face. Yeah, and I've, I've seen enough crazy that I know not to, not to poke this bear. All right, we can go back. Uh, stick with that. Um, my hindrance. Shh, they're back. Yes. Don't tell them our plans. Ha. <laughs> so, do we have an accord then? I think so, sir. Like I said, from me. what I from what I hear of your skills, you are quite competent based on what they say about what you did yesterday. So, it is in my best interest to get paid and Yours as well. I see great potential in you. When do we leave? And he gives you your money. Tomorrow, I think. You can leave any time. It's a little late right now, but I propose possibly in the morning. Well, what time's that train leave? Those tickets, you can take them to the station and they will honor them whenever you can. Let's say we bless this with a hand of poker. And I take out a deck of cards and start dealing them. Sister Temperance got excited when you said the word blessed and then severely disappointed when it was not with a prayer. I'm well, sure sister, I you can bless it however you like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll smile uh, at her, deviously. I'm willing to play one hand. All right, I keep dealing till one hand is out. I don't usually partake, but why not? All right, so the three of you want to play? I put 20 sure. bucks of my 130 down on the center of the table. <laughs> are we playing for good or are we playing for fun? Why not both? Yeah, I like both, but I swear to God, if you're not straight up with this, I look at I Doris and then back at Sister Temperance seat. and then back at Doris. Can't cheat in front of a nun. Pretty sure that's straight to the fiery place. Ah, uh, yep. 
So yes, yeah, steal them cards, sir. Right, All straight right. out of that deck to your left, right, wherever you happen to be sitting. I'll deal him. You deal him. There you go. There's your three cards. This is getting a little busy, but you see them, right? We get three cards. Yep. What are we playing? Poker. If we're playing Texas Hold'em, oh. we're supposed to get two each. Yeah, my bad. I was thinking the river. Yeah, the river's three, but our hand is you, two. You know what? Just draw. Draw your cards. Oh, draw my own. <laughs> well, Hold I on. think I just showed everybody. Yeah. Not like that. But that's <laughs> over there. Let's, let's try it again. I Drag have a five. Hand. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> go away. Oh, here now. Are we ready? Oh, Sister Temperance is playing too. Where the fuck did my cards go? Okay, because I had decent cards. What the actual fuck? Mine is just hanging out here forever. Bye. Well, okay, hold off. Hold on. Wow. <sighs> Can't get it off my face. I'm not looking at my cards until you say we're done doing this. All right. Yeah. So are we, am I dealing them or are you drawing them? You deal I'm going to draw deal my two spot. cards, please. Oh. It's really hard to play poker in this saloon here. <laughs> Right, who's playing? Who am I dealing well, to? People didn't keep cheating. We're all playing. <gasps> Sister Temrins is playing. I guess she could play cards and not put money up, right? She doesn't have any money anymore. She gave it all to me. You what? don't know what, what money I have. What the? Please get rid of this I five of clubs that's on my face. Time. Well, she's not playing if she doesn't put money in the center of the table. Uh, oh, oh, Doris has oh, four cards. <laughs> Now he's cheating. Well, I just won't see my face for the rest of the game. That's just fine. Okay. Well, you got four. What happened? Four. So what am I supposed to do? Okay, Terrence, take all four of those cards and deal me two cards. I did. The last two I dealt there. So what do I have? Let me steal those ones. I can't see your cards. Okay. He's gonna steal to two. Steal. steal two of her cards. Yep, I board. did. She still has four. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so good enough. Whatever. All right, I'm All right. looking at my Show cards. Show us some fucking cards. Where's the river? Uh, is everybody just gambling a flat thirty? We're gambling for 20 bucks. He tossed 20. 20 bucks on the table. 20. Everybody agrees? Yep. And none who gambles. All righty. Card number one. Ooh. Ace. Card number two. Where is it? A six. It's in Colorado. Oh. Oh, you might have to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Well, I guess, is anybody betting anymore? Are we just going to assume 20 bucks and I'll deal all five? i just deal all five. Yeah. I don't remember how to play poker. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to play I'm poker. I'm sure my poker. character is very adept at poker. I do not remember how to play. I can't right, see. Hang on a second. Okay. I swear to God, I'm still pissed about losing the first two cards I had. You notice the patrons are starting to be a little interested in this here because you guys are a little bit of the heroes from yesterday. So they're kind of known. And it's like, oh, let's see how these guys, let's see if they play cards as good as they dispatch bad guys. So, well, Terrence, while I have the cards in my hand, I cast Hunch <laughs> on... <laughs> uh, we can do it later. But that was the whole reason for doing this, just so you know. Yeah, you can cast Hunch if you want. Yeah, but we can do it after. Well, it depends. Hunch, what's... Do you have all of a sudden you got a deck of cards in your hand? Doing there this? are no trappings. The Huckster must deal himself a hand of cards from an actual deck and study them, which I am currently doing. So... Everybody's playing cards. You deal out another hand of cards? No, I just dealt myself a hand of cards. Oh, you mean with these cards here? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Your two cards plus 
These five. Okay, so you cast Hunch. Roll your spell casting. With your extra D6, don't forget. Mm-hmm. All right, so who wins? That's why I said let's do the gambling first. Yeah. But I just wanted to let you know before the cards were gone. I think you could show them as well. I don't know. Are we actually gambling or are we? can I roll my gambling? <laughs> what is gambling useful for? Well, I think if you succeed at it, it might allow you to draw an extra card or something like that, if I remember correctly. At gambling? Yeah. Uh, Searching for gambling in make sure. these rules. Let me make sure. I didn't really think it would... I wasn't sure if it would be fair against other players. Do you know what I mean? You know what? If he succeeds yeah. at it as a role and it's not a cheating role, I'm okay with that. Because there's I mean, a I don't difference care. between just... cheating and luck. Okay, just let me check on gambling then. Sorry. I don't see in this the book that I'm looking at. I love the Marshall's guide. pants. <laughs> oh, jeez. You're not supposed to see. Wait, I missed it. Stand up again. No. No, we'll do it. <laughs> It'll be on the now, you later. Have to. Uh, now you have to stand up, sir. Nope. You can watch the I vlog cast or... persuasion upon you. Yeah, if she <laughs> succeeds at a roll persuasion, you need to stand up, sir. Do it. Roll your I'm rolling it. I'm rolling my yeah, persuasion. Roll oh it. no, you got to roll it on screen. Yep. Oh, on screen. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Gonna... I don't remember the commands for this. It's up in the top left. There's a little die. Oh, that's right. Uh, so I got a D4 and a D6. But you're actually persuading or are you gambling? What's persuading. Okay. I'm, I'm persuading the marshal to stand up and show us his pants again. Nice. Well, as a marshal, my, my resistance is no, a D12. No, the marshal has to roll that on the fucking screen, sir. Fine. I'll roll what you rolled. Yeah. There you go. Stand right. up. You can look at my pants. Three. He's gone. See, I was going to say, they're disappearing. <laughs> he cast invisibility. Oh, they're uh, PlayStation they're, pants. They're PlayStation pants. Yes, they are. They're his PlayStation pajama pants that I got him from Christmas. Last they match. Year they match my suit. In work. They are a wonderful royal blue color, just like this time. At least it's coordinated. No, you know what? The gambling, that's right. The gambling in there is based on a die roll. But the Deadlands gambling is different. Uh, where the heck is it? Well, we can do it next time. Yeah, you'll have to look it up next time. In the meantime, yeah. I'm probably not going to win anyways, so fucking should we just whip out our cards and call it done? Sure. I'm cool with that if you guys are. Anybody going to yeah. bluff? No. My hand sucks. I'm pissed. I lost an ace. That would have been nice. Yeah, it was fucking glorious that I had a pair of aces. You got a pair of fours. You got more than I got. I got a fucking high card That's of me. nine. I got oh, a pair of fours. Yeah. Uh, um, no, I'm gonna I get got... a drink. Can you guys sort out the gambling while I'm gone? Yeah, I'll figure Bring it out. And try. I also I have it. a pair of fours with king. With a king. Oh. <laughs> God is with do, you, sister. Do I win? <laughs> Maybe what? there's something to this Christianity after all. I kind of Marcy, slap her on have? the back. Marcy, what did you have? Uh, a queen and an eight. Yuck. You had about the same as me. 
Yes, yes, Sister Temperance, you do win. And you get to gather up the 80 bucks that's sitting on the table. All right, I will. Don't spend it all in one place. For the church, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Can I wink at her? So, um, we're going by train, but should we try to arrange to bring our horses with us, or should we get horses when we get there? There's probably a horse car on the train, I'm hoping. Okay, so we'll gather up. I, I asked Sister Temperance, how, how many horses did you manage to round up yesterday? Uh, six, but I'm keeping four. I've already paid Marcy to take care of them for me, so if she'd like to take them on the journey with us, she has money to do so. And the other two mm -hmm. horses are the saloons for them to sell or keep. Okay. So do we want to take our horses with, or your horses, Marcy, with us? So that we have transportation once we get there. Mm -hmm. Easier than walking. Their names are Conquest, War, Famine, and Death. Those are their names. And I, I, Those are the names of I the horses. stare at you, Doris, with crazy intense eyes I'm not breaking eye Doris. contact I'm just staring Doris is kind of looks at Marcy and she's like okay well I got dibs <laughs> on conquest I'll take pestilence why not I'm taking my own horse your horses look kind of crazy well, Her then, I guess fingers? war can stay here, and I'll take death. All right, so who won the poker game? God. The church. <laughs> the church won the poker game. Oh, very nice. Did you guys honor the, the bet? Yes. Yeah, we all paid. Now, if I remember correctly... I'm going to give you a pass, but I do believe gambling is a sin. That blessed characters are not supposed to gamble. I think I got to make sure, but just so you know, <laughs> you get a pass. She has an ailment of some mm -hmm. sort. So yes, every once in a while she does have to make rolls. Just well, that too. <clears throat> All right, so you guys are done. You're gambling. Anything you want to do before you hop on the train tomorrow? No, I think. Um, oh, you know what? I do want to go shopping, but I can do that offline. I want to get rid of this five of clubs that is in the middle of my screen. It won't go away. I can get rid of all the cards. Yeah, just make them go away. We're all done. Oh, it's still there. Ah! How do I get huh? rid of it? No, I, I drew them all back. I know, but why is this one still here? Like right on Did top of my screen. And when I click on it, it just... Maybe your screen's bugging out? Maybe. Because the, they're all gone on mine. Nuri. <clears throat> my chair. My, my Minnesota card eventually went away. I don't know how or when. But that's what it did too. Maybe the JavaScript is a little buggy or something. Or whatever it uses. Something like that. All right. So, like I said, there's shopping that I want to do, but I won't make you do that on screen. Okay. As long as it's nothing reasonable, we can sort that out afterward. Make, make sure to, to send me a note that you want these items and I'll see yeah. if they're available. General supplies. Nothing off of any weird lists, just like the general store supply list kind of deal. Okay. Now, one thing you may notice is um, before you get on the train, um, you might want to take your guns, if you had any guns checked in. So, like, you know, kind of just yep. pass the word, leaving town by train. 
Yep. Please transfer my guns there so that I can take them when I leave. Now, I've had a lot of exposure to um, Violet. <laughs> Have I noticed anything? Has John Rogers noticed anything today? About Violet? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still keeping an eye on her. I'd like to, can I offer her a meal? We're fasting for the Lord. <laughs> Growing girls gotta eat, honey. Yeah, I gotta look at her. She's not allowed to eat? I'd be like, when was the last time you guys ate anything? Mm. Fine, feed her. See, yeah, she, she looks a little bit hungry, but she doesn't look underfed. She looks like a normal kid. Well, she's only had her for like a day and a half. But you don't know that. No, I don't. But yeah. So she looks and, well fed. She looks and well. She is, and she is welcome to stay here with the girls. They'll take good care of her while we're gone. She doesn't leave my side. Okay, well then I am not having a starving child with us. She is going to eat dinner. I go back to the kitchen, so to speak, and get a plate of whatever it was. Pork loin. Can I give the sister a weird look? Sister, the, uh, the West is no place for a child, especially out in the wilderness. I don't know how much you've been outside of the city or outside of the convent, but she not going to make it. She'll be well protected by me. We can handle ourselves. What is Violet doing during all of I kinda, this? I kind of look at, look at the girl and see what her reaction is to that. Violet is uh, reading just... the Bible right now. Sure. <laughs> just for the like last hour girl. while we've been talking and playing poker. Yeah. Okay. And then when Sister Temperance isn't looking, she might pull out her doll and play with the doll a little bit. Creepy doll? Until, until Sister Temperance scorns her a little bit or something. Does the doll resemble anything else I might have seen? Mm, it kind of resembles the one that you've seen in the safe before. Or not the safe, the safety deposit box. Very similar. Where is she sitting? Like, can I get a table order? A table order? Am I sitting beside her? Where is she sitting? I assume Marcy would try to sit pretty close to her, and then Sister Temperance would probably be on the other side. So, probably not. When Marcy gets up to go to the uh, kitchens, I slide over into her seat. Hey, honey. What's your dolly's name? This job's fine. Her name is Emma. She's pretty. Thanks. Does she have any sisters? Mm, I don't think so. No? Not that I've seen. Uh, you have to talk in your little girl voice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't, so you might as well because Violet's under your control. <laughs> no, Violet's under your control. Under your control, sir. <clears throat> no! <laughs> She's so alarmed. Sister. Does she have any friends? She has me and Sister Temperance. Excellent. Do you like Sister Temperance? Is she good to you? Can I hear this? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? Maybe make a notice roll. And I will make a stealth roll, I think. A stealth roll? <laughs> I'm invisible. Stealth? Just let her make her notice roll. Because okay. it's not really stealth, really. Well, no, I'm kind of whispering at her. I rolled a four. I but stealthily four. move all the way across four, the table. Four. But she wouldn't answer you stealthily, right? No, you, I you guess not. It and she would, she would just talk or 
She might yeah. talk quietly, but not not enough for her to notice. Because kids suck at whispering. Yeah. So it's Sister true. Temperance would probably hear a one-sided conversation. <laughs> yeah. You, you can roll stealth if you want, but the, the kid will probably, her answers are speaking. Uh, I rolled a four or, as well. Or loud whispers. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. I got to roll my d6. Oh, I rolled a five. Okay, yes. What did Sister Temperance roll? She rolled a four. I rolled a four and a four. Okay, so you, you don't hear Doris talking, but you you can hear you can hear Violet answering her. And what does Violet answer her with? Well, um, you heard it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A very <laughs> alarmed no. What? You said no? Well, no. Yes. She said that uh, Emma didn't no, no, have no. any you're, sisters. No, your last question where friends, you said, do you like Sister Temperance? Is she good yeah. to you? Yes. <laughs> she saved my mama. Is she a robot? Who are, <laughs> who are, who are you talking to, child? Your doll? She looks over to Doris and Doris uh, is like <laughs> <laughs> And I start talking to John Rogers. You wanna play some darts? I'll teach you how to play darts now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and I wander off to play darts. <laughs> uh, so how long do you want to go tonight? Forever. <laughs> Let him play a game of darts. We can do darts. We can do darts. No, I mean, can we can do the next scene another... as well. 30, 45 minutes. Okay. I mean, I thought it was cutting it earlier, too, if other people need to, need to flee. Well, we'll, uh, we'll play the round of darts. I'd like to get the kids in bed no later than 10.30 which means I need to probably stop at about quarter after. So I got about another 20 minutes. Okay. I just want to make sure before we get too far. For sure. All right. 20 <laughs> minutes. Sounds good. All right. Uh, what did we roll for darts last time? Uh, we never played. Uh, Doris did. Did we? Doris did. Hmm. I think All right. Shooting. She played I against what's his name? Shooting. Uh, I don't think it was shooting. I don't remember. To I be think honest. it was, was it agility? agility. Okay. Sure. Who's shooting Whatever you dart? guys agree on. Whatever you guys agree on, that's reasonable. Like blow darts. I think it was agility. Both okay. of mine are the same, so it makes no matter to me. Yeah, I'll take agility. I have brought Violet the pork loin by now. And the chef, and when I told him it was for a little girl, made made the potatoes into a little smiley face. Okay. Usually the chef... We're going to um, need to say a prayer now. Okay. <laughs> well, hold on. Usually the chef just gives... Like, if you ask for food, he'll just give it to you, right? Because it's... It's your almost like co-owner of the saloon like you run the girl so if you need something usually he gives it to you food is not a problem okay in fact usually when you you ask he gives you like the choice cuts smiley face potatoes prayer back to darts <laughs> yeah back to darts okay. all right what's the prayer yeah i want to hear the prayer <laughs> All right, all my Catholics, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, O Lord, for these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Wonderful. Prayer. That is a lot of amens. Do I hear Sister Temperance say this prayer? Make a notice roll. I don't know how how bold are you with the prayer. You probably well, I don't know how close I am. That's all. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I was. That was going to be my next question: is did she say it like that, or did she just say it all crazy stuff? <laughs> or just mumble it under her breath? Or yeah. It's up to her. I said it like how I said it, like sing song and cheerful. There you go. Yeah, you don't have a problem hearing it. And then I right. flash you some crazy eyes. <laughs> well, I was gonna smile and tip my head, but now I'm scared. You a man of God, John smile, Rogers? My smile I vanishes. Try to cross myself, but it's obvious I have not done it in a very long time, so I'm just kind of like voguing. <laughs> <laughs> or do it the wrong way. Yeah. Right, because there's a goal. Right, the yeah, I think there's a specific. There probably is. I don't know. I'm a bad Chicago. So just so you know, shooting I'm a bad covers Chicago. <laughs> I'm like the only person from Chicago that's not Catholic. Uh, it's up, down, left, right. Maybe if right. you select start, then you get a free guy. So maybe maybe Marcy does it the other way, up, down, right, left, or something. Okay, so shooting is normally what covers all ranged weapons, but you guys can use agility if you want. I don't. It doesn't really matter to me. I would Just, really think that darts would be agility. Yeah, that's, you want. that's fine. Either way. Okay. Make your rolls. Your Shooting battles. doesn't make sense for darts, no. No, it doesn't. Throwing weapons, maybe. If there's like, you know, axe throwing or something. Uh, okay. Okay. So do we still get the D6 on top of our agility yes. score? Yes. Okay. So there's that. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna use oh, a penny. Snap! You hit somebody yeah, in the eye. Yeah, I did. I did hit somebody Snake in eyes. the eye. Now refresh my memory. What the blue one and the red one and the white one does. So the red one, as soon as you use it, I get to draw a penny. What's the blue one? The blue one gives you. Well, the blue one and the red one give you plus two. Red one means I draw a penny. The red one means, or sorry, red one means I draw a penny. Blue one means I do not. Okay, well, I'm going to use a blue one. There's my blue okay. one. Okay. Okay, so I re-roll, right? Yes, and they get plus two. And I get plus two. So you get a six. Oh, six. Yeah, I get a six. That's right. not what I wanted, but sure. <laughs> I also said to Sister and Temperance, I didn't want to interrupt the flow. But I said to Sister Temperance, uh, yes, Sister, I did have some time with God in my past. But kind of uh, emphasizing that it was in the past, but not completely gone. Anyway, throwing a duck. Did you say that you had some time with God, or you had some time with your God? No, with God. With her God. With, with God. the God. The Christian okay. God. Why don't I use a penny uh, too? Because I have them. Mm-hmm. You got them. You might as well. Wait, mm. I don't have one of those. I did that wrong. Put that back. There. You almost caught me cheating. And I'm not gonna roll two oh, d six that same way. Oh, Gambler boy. who's cheating. Who would have thought? Yeah. All right. Well, I have a five. Well, that makes sense for your first time throwing darts. That you wouldn't throw them perfectly, right? Yeah. So you succeed at hitting the board, Terrence? Because he gets a what? Yeah, he puts up a. He does actually pretty well. What did you get? You got a. She got a four. A six. You got a six? Yeah, yeah because she's oh, plus two. Okay. Better. So it's just. You know, he puts up a. He learns. Looks like he's learning pretty well. The okay. game went pretty good. But he still cleaned his block. Good try, sir. Good try. You're a natural. This is a strange game. Do you want to try again? Maybe no, that, that's quit all right. Mm, okay. Kind of look over where, where Marcy is. What's she doing? Uh, Marcy gave Violet her food, and she's kind of just hanging out while she eats it. Um, scanning around the saloon, just making sure everything's running smoothly. 
Yeah, occasionally a, a customer member might, you know, come up and ask you if you have any ladies available or, you know, the regular business every once in a while. Just living the dream. Mm-hmm. So, I, well, yeah, I walk over to Marcy and I say, I can't help but notice you seem to be running most of the things in this establishment. Do you have any... Uh, I do. Do you have any women open this evening? Hmm. Take a look around. Well, Clementine's probably a little traumatized, so I'm going to give her the night off, but... No, no, you know what? Clementine is perfect. <laughs> And I pull out $20. Okay, well, it's going to be up to her. I'm still going to ask her. Clem, can you come over here and meet Mr. Rogers? He'd like to ask a favor. The $20 type. I just smile at her. <laughs> and look upstairs. What expression does Clementine have on her face right now? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm disturbed with this fact, too, Sister Temperance. Um, she's been grabbed before and she's been saved by Marcy before, so it's mm, kind of sort of normal. So she's sort of normal. All right. You she know, looks it's... like she's happy with this. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of maybe not she take doesn't... her aside, but can I intuit or notice how she's maybe feeling? Mm -hmm. Would that be a notice roll? Yep. Yeah. Four and a five. Uh, yeah, she seems okay enough to work tonight. She didn't like it, but it's not the first time. Okay. She's She knows you got her back. Okay, well, I'm watching you, Mr. Rogers, but if Clem says it's okay, I'm going to trust her. Much obliged. I tip my head and offer offer my arm to Clementine. Elbow out. I will look at you with disgust. having dirty boy time yeah i'm very curious to know what's uh, being said over there <laughs> pretty sure they're like acting out his his <laughs> you watch the VOD later relations yeah i might have, I might have to watch i'm the sure VOD he's later. like what well, do you want to do to the the VOD. Then... that's not going to be on the VOD though <laughs> It's not. It's not going to be right. on the pod because Chubbs can't enough. hear it right now. <laughs> well, just assume it's gross. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Clementine just called him a gentleman, so it can't be that fucking gross. <laughs> oh, I just got busted for eavesdropping. I'm not supposed to know that. <laughs> Tell, tell us what's happening. What, what's Clem oh, saying? I can't give you a play-by-play. -play. I will get in so much trouble. <laughs> I'm already in trouble for eavesdropping, telling you that he called her a gentleman. Yeah, you don't know that he call, she called him a gentleman. Because <clears throat> that's cheating. It's like it's like uh, with a trial, with like a jury, it's like, Strike that from the record, jury. You did not hear that. Yep. You know, yeah, right. erase that from your mind. John Rogers is <laughs> not a gentleman. You, know you will, you will no. disregard nature or lack thereof. <laughs> so John Rogers comes down the stairs. You know, maybe like zipping up his pants, big smile on his face. Yep. That was quick. Time. Fastest yep. twenty dollars I ever made. <laughs> Actually, no, they, they spent right. quite a while I'd up like, there. I'd like to change the title of the episode. It was going to be No Freebies, even if the girls offer, but now I'd like to change it to John Rogers is not a gentleman. <laughs> exactly. That's the title. <laughs> they spend a long time upstairs, actually. Ew. And they come down. John Rogers looks quite happy. You, you haven't seen him smile like this at all. Ew. He's she has a, a face. face. That's true. 
Very he relaxed though. Yep. Yeah. Well, that would be a persuasion, I think. If you're gonna if you're gonna go that far. <laughs> all right, all right. But my persuasion sucks. Mm, yeah, well we we don't have to roll. We'll just say he comes downstairs looking pleased. Yes, yeah. he should be. Clementine We're in a quality establishment here. Clementine looks Mm, about the same as <laughs> bored. Ooh, bird. Yeah, maybe bored. <laughs> bored, <laughs> but um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> unimpressed. That's kind of her face. Unimpressed. Um, I can't stand for this any longer. I'm gonna go up to Marcy and I'm gonna say, uh, it's time for Violet and I to go to bed. Is there a room that has not? had relations take place in it. I think there's a broom closet behind the kitchen. I'm pretty sure there's been relations But I can't vouch there. for the staff on that one. Yeah, I was gonna, if I was like, do I hear this? <laughs> do you have a room where a lesser amount of relations have taken place? Sister, I keep all my rooms clean. You are free to go right up to room number four. We'll sleep on the floor just to be safe. Thank you. Suit yourselves. All right, I'm going to take Violet up to room number four, and um, mm -hmm. I'm going to tuck her in on the floor. Uh, That's the one with the mirror on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to read her a little a little bedtime story. Sure. Okay. Some bedtime songs. Does, does anybody else want to listen? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna creep up there and just make sure that I don't hear you whipping her for her accepting the meal or anything, talking to other people. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of kind of stealthily after I see them enter the room and close the door, I'm gonna creep up there and just listen in. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hold up. Make a notice roll. If you succeed, I'll get you in the private. If not... Uh, six and a one. So re-roll so, for the six. Six okay. and a three. Okay. So... You can... You can over here. All right. All right, Violet. Now say the bedtime prayer I taught you. She... Yeah, Violet, say the bedtime prayer. And she says it. <laughs> mm, that's not how I taught you. Say it again. Clear this time so that we can all hear you. I don't know. Uh, what, what what did you tell her to say? <laughs> all right. Rebecca, we can hear you. Is it a now I lay me down to sleep? Yes. Okay, repeat after me. Now, those. now I lay me down to sleep. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake. If I should die before I wake. I pray the Lord my soul to take. I pray the Lord my soul to take. <laughs> Good girl. All right, now. God says that he will burn people with fire if they do not please him. And if we succeed in turning them to God before this life is over, it is like snatching them out of the fire. For our God is a consuming fire. Do you understand, Violet? Do you, do you understand, Violet? Can you say it again? God says that he will burn people with fire if they do not please him. And if we succeed in turning them to God before this life is over, it is like snatching them out of the fire. For our God is a consuming fire. Do you understand, Violet? I understand. All right. Good night, God. What about Mama and Dada? No, they forget about them. 
God loves you. Good night. Are they going to the fire? God loves you. Good night. Now stop talking. Good night. Can you say good night to Emma too, please? Can we pray for Emma? Good night, Emma. God loves you. And she gives Emma a little wiggle at you and and then they, they roll I'm, over I'm, and try to fall asleep. I'm going to bless Emma's forehead with the sign of the cross. Okay. All right. Now, I uh, you are going to hear the sound of the whip, Marcy, because I am going to flagellate myself. I'm going to whip myself. Uh... Because that's how I do. Well, what? I hear that, and I'm going to try to open that door, because I am immediately concerned for this child. And this is my saloon, so I'm assuming that I have a key to any of the doors. Just in case something goes awry. So I kind of bust in. See Sister Temperance doing this. I... I'm presuming with her clothes still on, but I guess that's a question. What? What's the meaning of this intrusion? And I kind of am taken aback. No intrusion. You carry on, sister. And I kind of back out of the room. Close the door again. Yeah. Um, she's. She's fine. She was trying to fall asleep with the doll. Yeah, kid's fine. Sister can do whatever she wants in there. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna let her be now. <laughs> the end. You can go back to the rest. I might have to start sitting upstairs for uh, um, our deadline sessions. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so I guess Marcy would come back downstairs eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna come back down. Well, takes all sorts. And I start kind of sweeping up. Because it's getting late in the night. People are starting to carry on to wherever they go. Yep. The saloon is ready to shut down. Um, John, don't forget to take that $20 off. Yeah, I'm down to 90 now. And Sister Temperance and Violet go to bed. I hustle as many people as I can at the dirt boards and then go to bed when nobody else wants to blame me. I'm going to assume I, I don't know, I need to get a room somewhere. Mm -hmm. I assume I'll get one here. Another $5. It's fine. It's a high priced room. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I got ninety dollars. Eighty-five now. You've got a kinda got a premium on rooms tonight. We're running low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get the same uh the same room you just came out of with Clementine. Oh, okay. Not Except clean. You don't get to snuggle with Clementine <laughs> afterwards. Well, it's his own <laughs> stuff, like Ew. really. Did she did she they changed Rooms the sheets, are right? at a premium. Shame. Shame. She's fucking busy. You can change your own fucking sheets. Here you go, no. sir. By the time you decide to go to bed, you know, the sheets have been changed. Marcy clearly said that the <laughs> room would not be cleaned. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she okay. did. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, you get back and the room was in the same condition you left it in. All right. So it was it's not been a clean. busy night for all the staff. All right, yeah. Marcy, I think that just leaves you. You're the only one. Terrence, awake. should you? Uh, can you? Can I talk, Terrence? Sure. Give me a. Give me. A, give me a white screen, or give them a white screen. Dirty boy stuff again. Gross. Yep. All the secrets. Um, I might have to start sitting upstairs when we play Deadlands. Or you can just tell us what they're saying. 
Well, and the other part of that is uh, when you guys were on, um, when I was talking to uh, Sith, it picked it up on the light. Mm -hmm. Rat row. I notice nothing as exactly. per usual. Whoops. <laughs> Marcy does not know what happened. I am very inattentive to my establishment. You know what? She was busy upstairs listening to Sister Temperance and the child. <laughs> Do I win any money at the dartboards? Mm. We'll see. Five dollars. Am I drunk Perfect. yet? <laughs> am I drunk yet? Are there any waitresses? Yep. I want to do them. If there's hot girls, I'm doing them. Yeah. No, we're not that kind of D&Ders. <laughs> um, you are upstairs in your filthy room, sir. Yeah. Yep. Sleeping yeah, in like... your own ruin. <laughs> your own filth. Um, I'm just, like I said, going to play darts until... Uh, until nobody wants to play darts with me anymore, and then I'm going to bed. So I take okay. my five bucks and uh, and I go to bed. Hopefully, I've at least got a clean room. Yeah, you, you find can. You can have a clean one. I get a clean one. Did you hear that, John? <laughs> I mean, it's his own. Nobody else can stay there. Um, and I am gonna stay up until everybody else has gone to bed. All the patrons have left. All the staff have checked out for the night because I wanna. Just do the final look over everything. Yep. Business as usual. Do your thing. Can't. And then uh, everybody wakes up the next day. And you all head to the train station. Am I right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe that's where <laughs> we should start next time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so breakfast. we start when we wake up and all that stuff. Because I'm going to want to look at that packet over uh, yeah let's let's and not just and presume dessert. we're gonna go straight to the train station like we're supposed to <laughs> danishes and coffee for all all right so you all wake up in the morning or whatever they used in the old west where's my package sir the morning staff wakes you up gives you eggs and bacon and all that fun stuff and then i guess we're gonna call it there I was promised pastries. Or do we go to the no, train no, station? No, 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 no. We can stay no, there. No, I'm not going to the train no, we station. Are, we are I am... eating a leisurely breakfast before we go to the train station. Well, I'm I'm Next not eating. I'm fasting. Um, yeah, it's Sister Temperance is whipping herself or whatever she does. Uh, I need to roll my um, vigor. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay. You got an extra d6? I got a five on my d10. And then a three. Don't forget about your bunnies if you need them. Well, nope, four is pass, hits. right? So. Yep. Right. Nope, you're good. So you survive for another game. I live to fight another day. Exactly. And that's it. That's all I got, unless you guys want to continue further. All right. Into the next scene. Nope. Thank you. Nope. I think we're good. Good night. Nope, thank you. Good night. <laughs> I'm going to go find my die. All right, got. everybody. Hang that is the, the end right. of episode two. John Rogers is not a gentleman. We'll see you back here next week. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.